Everyday English Conversations Practice Easy. How are you doing? Good morning, Lucy. Good morning, Jessica. How are you doing? I'm doing great, thank you. And you? I'm good too, thanks. Where are you going? I'm just walking around and enjoying the sun. Yes, the weather is so nice today. How about you? Where are you going? I'm going to visit my grandma. Is her house near here? Yes, it's only a ten minute walk from my house. You are lucky. I miss my grandparents too. Where are they now? They live in San Francisco. Aw, so far away. Oh, sorry, Jessica, but I have to go now. Okay, see you. Goodbye. Bye, Jess. You're welcome. Hey, Laura, what's up? Hi, Jack. Are you busy now? No, what's wrong? My laptop suddenly stopped working. What happened? The screen turned black. Can you help me fix it? I'm not sure I can fix it, but let me see. Come in. Here you are. Have you tried to restart it? Yes, I have, but it didn't work. How many times did it happen today? Only one. After that, I couldn't turn it on again. <sighs> it may take a while to find the problem. I have to go out now. Can I leave it here? Sure. I will try to fix it. Thanks a lot, Jack. You're welcome. <laughs> Do you like to fly? Kate, what are you watching? I'm watching Iron Man. I didn't know you liked hero movies. I like to watch superheroes. <laughs> have you seen a Superman movie? Yes, I have. Do you prefer Superman or Iron Man? I prefer Iron Man. Why? Because he is a normal human like us, and he can fly. <laughs> do you like to fly? Yes, I really do. I wish I could fly like them. You must love to be on a plane. Yeah, I love to see white clouds. So, enjoy your movie. I will go out now. Okay, Max. See you. See you. Could you repeat that? Jennifer, do you have John's number? Yes, of course I have. Can you give me his number? Sure, but didn't you have it? Yes, I did, but I accidentally deleted it. Okay, let me see. It's zero seven seven four three eight seven five three one. Wait, can you repeat that? Okay, zero seven seven four three eight seven five three one. Zero seven seven four three eight seven five three five. Right? No, the last number is one, not five. Okay, I got it. Why do you want his number? I want to ask him where he bought his bag. Why? I want to buy it for my boyfriend's birthday. Nice idea. His bag looks cool. I will call him now. Oh, thanks, Jennifer. Not at all. Are you free Saturday night? Claire, are you free this Saturday night? Yes, I am. What's up? Would you like to come to my party this weekend? Yes, of course. 
Is there a special occasion? It's my birthday party. <gasps> oh, really? Sure, I will come. Thank you. Where will you hold the party? In my house. I will send you the address later. Okay. Um, what time should I come? You can come around 7 p.m. Okay. Is there a dress code? No, just wear whatever you feel comfortable with. Okay. Thanks for asking me. Not at all. Then see you at the party this Saturday. See you too. Goodbye. I'll call you later. Kelly, I don't have anything to wear at prom. Me too. I don't have a nice dress. I want to go to the shopping mall this evening to buy one. Great. May I join? Sure. What time will you go? I'm not sure. After dinner? Maybe around 8 p.m.? Okay. How do you get there? I will ask my flatmate to borrow his car. What if he needs it? Then go by bus? I don't want to go there alone. May I go with you? Sure. I'll call you later to confirm how we will go there, okay? Okay. I will wait for you. How is your new job going? Hi, Emily. Long time no see. Nice to see you again, Kathy. How are you? I'm good. And you? Oh, very well, thanks. How is your new job going? It's great. I'm just a bit busy. How are your new colleagues? They are very friendly and nice to me. It sounds like a great working environment. Yes. I'm glad I got this job. I'm very happy that you love your new job. How about yours? I'm doing well. I just got a promotion. Aw, congratulations. You always work so hard. Thank you. I just try my best. Long time no see. Hi, is it you, Josh? Ah, oh, David, long time no see. Nice to see you. How have you been? I'm good. Nice to meet you again, too, David. May I sit here? Sure. Are you on your lunch break? Yes. I usually come here for lunch. Really? Do you work near here? No, I had a meeting at my client's place. Then I came here for lunch. Oh, I got it. Do you have any recommendations for the food? They have a really nice grilled chicken dish. Okay, I will try it. Thanks for your suggestion. Not at all. Do you have children? Hello, doctor. Hi, please take a seat. What's the matter with you? It's so difficult for me to fall asleep. How long do you have this? Uh, it has been a few years. Do you have children? Yes, I have two kids. How old are they? One is four years old and one is two years old. Do you sleep with them? Yes, I sleep with one and the smaller sleep in the crib. Have you tried to sleep alone? Yes, I did try one day and still couldn't sleep. I suggest you should try to sleep in a separate room alone for at least one week. Okay, I will, doctor. Did you see my mobile phone? John, did you see my mobile phone? No. You haven't gone to the kitchen since you came home. I can't find it anywhere. Did you forget it at work? No, 
I just called Mom after I came home. What did you do after that? Hmm. I took a shower, then came back to the bedroom. Did you find it in the bathroom and bedroom? Yes, I did. How about in your clothes? Maybe you put it in your pocket? Ah,、uh, yes. It must be in my trousers pocket. Brilliant. <laughs> Go and check. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Hi, excuse me. Hi, may I help you? Could you please tell me where the section for laundry stuff is? Oh, it's over there, opposite the bakery section. Thank you very much. You are welcome. You are very kind. What's wrong, Peter? I have a stomach ache. Does it hurt a lot? Yes, it does. Do you think you need to go to the hospital? No, just let me rest a bit. Maybe I ate something bad. Did you throw up? Yes, I did. Um, you probably got food poison. Let me cook something light for you. Thanks, Mary. You are very kind. We are flatmates, right? That's what I should do. Thank you very much. Not at all. Now you should rest. Okay. If it hurts too bad, tell me. I will take you to the hospital. Okay. Sorry. What happened, Laura? Your whole face is swollen. I cried all night. What's wrong? I broke up with my boyfriend yesterday. Oh, I'm so sorry for you, Laura. But why? He cheated on me. Oh, girl, he doesn't deserve you. Jesse, I want to go out to relax a bit. Can you go with me? Sure. Let's go out and enjoy some fresh air. You will feel better. How do you feel? Hi, Jack. How do you feel today? Hi, Doctor. I feel much better. Okay, let me check. Hmm. No fever. Good. Do you still vomit? No, I don't. How about your stomach? Does it hurt? Not really. Only sometimes, but it feels like it is still burning. It's okay. It will take some days to get back to normal. When can I go home, doctor? I am afraid you still have to be here in a few days. Okay, I got it. Try to relax as much as possible. I will, doctor. Give me the best you have. Hi, how may I help you? Hi, I'm looking for a white shirt for my husband. Let me help you. Do you prefer a plain shirt or one with a pattern? Just plain. May have his height and weight to pick the right size. He is five point seven seven feet tall and one hundred and sixty five pounds heavy. Okay, we have many white plain shirts here. Just give me the best you have. Okay, then this one, best material among all. Size M will fit him. Great, I will take this one. Is there anything else you need? No thanks. I just need this shirt for now. Okay. Thanks for shopping with us. I will go to the payment counter to check out.
What do you need to buy? John, are you going out now? Yes, I will go to the supermarket to buy some stuff. Could you help me buy something? Sure, what do you need to buy? I need a pack of sugar, some chilies and ginger. I forgot to buy them earlier today. Okay, I got it. Is there anything else you need? No, for now. If I need anything, I will call you, okay? Sure. But don't take too long. I just go for a while, then come back. Okay, thanks, John. You are welcome. My luggage didn't come out. Hi, I need help. Hello, miss. How may I help you? My baggage didn't come out. I've been waiting for it for so long. May I have your passport and flight number, please? Okay, here you are. My flight number is JH23742. Your baggage reclaim number is number four. Have you been waiting there? Oh, four? I saw three on the board. There was a change after. Maybe you didn't notice? All right. Let me go and check there first. Okay. If you can't find it, get back to me, and I will help you. Thank you very much. Keep your seatbelt on. Excuse me, sir. Please keep your seatbelt on. Oh, sorry. I thought we finished taking off. We did, but we haven't reached a certain height for the plane to be stable, so we still need passengers to fasten their seatbelts. Okay, I got it. I'm sorry. It's okay, sir. Just for your safety. I know. So when can I unfasten my seatbelt? Please pay attention. Our captain will announce it. Okay, thanks. You are welcome, sir. How long will you be staying in Canada? Julia, will you travel this summer holiday? Yes, I will visit my grandparents. Where are they? They are living in Canada. How long will you be staying in Canada? I'm not sure, but I remember my mom said about two weeks. You're so lucky. I will have to stay at home during summer. Oh, it's okay. I will call you. Remember to tell me any interesting thing that happens there, okay? Sure, I will. You have been to Canada before, right? Yes, I visited my grandparents many times before. You must know the place so well. Oh, not at all. Usually we visit them only for a few days. So I didn't have time to explore the place. Then you can this time. Yeah. Where are you? Josh, where are you? I'm at the gym. Just finished exercising. What's wrong? Your mom has been looking for you. Did she call you? Yes, she said she couldn't call you. Oh, I must be taking a shower. Did she tell you anything else? No, but her sound seems a bit worried. You should call her back to check. Okay, thanks, Jimmy. Talk to you later. Okay, bye. What's the address? Mary, will you join our class trip this weekend? Yes, of course, but what's wrong? It's so early in the morning. There is no bus at that time. I'm thinking about how to go to the university. Linda will stay with me the night before, and we will book a taxi. Do you want to stay with us? Oh, is it okay? Sure, no problem. Just a night. That's great. 
What's the address of your house? It's three gorse walk. Nice. I will come around 8.30 p.m. Is it okay? Yes. Make sure you don't forget anything at home. Thanks, Veronica. Not at all. Could I have your name? Hello, welcome to Jardine Restaurant. May I help you, sir? I have a table reservation for two people tonight at 7 p.m. Could I have your name, please? I'm Michael Boston. I booked earlier today. Your table is ready, sir. Please wait a minute. I'll bring you a menu. Okay? Thank you very much. I'm going to apply for a loan. Bob, what are you thinking? Hi, Daniel. I'm thinking about the project I'm planning. What's wrong with it? Everything is fine, but I'm low in the capital. Really? Is the expense more than you expected? Yeah, more cost adds up. Have you had a solution? I'm going to apply for a loan. <gasps> Is it too early? No, I don't think so. Is it complicated to apply for a loan? I will call the bank to ask for more details. Okay, I hope you will solve your problem soon. Thanks, Daniel. Friend Conflict What's wrong with Selena and you? Why didn't you guys sit next to each other at lunch today? I'm done with her. We have nothing to talk to each other about. <gasps> Can I ask why? It's a long story. Do you still want to hear it? Yes, I do. Please, go ahead. I had a crush on a boy in grade 11. I told Selena about it. When she heard the boy's name, she was suddenly angry and told me to stay away from him. I think she wants to steal him from me. So I yelled at her and I told her that she knew nothing about me. She should have cheered me up. Why didn't you listen to her reasons? Well, I was angry, so... I think you guys should explain everything to each other. Perhaps you just wanted to prevent something bad from happening. Maybe you're right. I'll ask her tomorrow. Going outside. Hey, Kate. Do you have time after school? Yes. What's the matter, Lucy? Today's Black Friday. Want to go to the shopping center with me? Okay, I think I can go. Cool. We're going to get a lot of deals today. Let's meet in front of the shopping mall at 5 p.m. Got it. Hey, I'm here. Where should we go first? I saw a mall which has up to 80% discounts. Do you want to visit it? Absolutely. Let's go. Wow, this shop is so crowded. Yeah, it's Black Friday anyway. People will go to the shopping centers and buy many things at low prices. Hey, let's see the dress over there. I love it. It really suits you. Let's check the price. Hey, I think I can afford it. 50% discount. Awesome. <music> New 
new game show. I'm so bored. I have nothing to watch on TV at night. I can suggest some game shows. That's cool. Tell me some. You should watch Who Is a Millionaire. I've heard about it. Yeah, the main goal of this game show is to win up to seven thousand two hundred U.S. dollars. Wow, it's a big amount of money. I know. You can train your brain by answering the show's questions. Ah,、uh, and I also know a new game show. What is it? I forgot the name, but it's a music game show. The players will listen to many lip sync singers and guess who is the real one. Sounds interesting. Thanks for your recommendation. I'll text you the name of the show later. What is there to eat? Is there anything to eat? I don't know. You should check our kitchen. Hey, our fridge is empty. <gasps> What? Really? I don't want to go out and buy something in such hot weather. Neither do I. Wait, I remember I bought some instant noodles last week. I hope they're still there. Ah,、oh, thank God they're here. We still have some eggs and salad in the fridge. We can eat them with the noodles. Why did you say the fridge is empty? Well, I mean, it's almost empty. Never mind. Let's cook the noodles. And we have to go to the supermarket to buy more food tomorrow. Okay. English conversation practice. How long will I have to wait? Good evening, sir. Welcome to Dolores Restaurant. Good evening. Sir, do you have a reservation for tonight? No, I don't. I'm sorry, sir, but you will have to wait. Our tables are all reserved tonight. How long will I have to wait? Around twenty-five minutes, sir. Okay, I will wait for one. May I have your name, please? I'm Jerry. Mister Jerry, please wait in the waiting area here for our hostess. We will seat you in a table as available. Okay. Would you like some drinks while waiting? Two cocktails, please. Yes, sir. Please wait a minute. Are we almost there, Thomas? Are we almost there? I'm not sure. We should have arrived according to the map. Yeah, it took so long. I think we went the wrong way. Maybe the locator is broken. Let me check on my phone. Yeah. Let me see where we are. Here. Have you found the camping area? Hold on. Ah,、uh, right here. Okay, we need to go back then turn left. Show me on the way. Okay. How much is it? Hi. What do you need? I need a dozen eggs and a loaf of bread. Okay. Anything else? Do you have margarine butter? Yes, we have. I need one box. Is that all? Yes. How much is it? It's six dollars thirty-five cents, please. Here you are. You can keep the change. Thanks. Have a nice day. You too.
Where would you like to go? Finally, the exams are over. Let's go somewhere to relax. Where would you like to go? I'd like to go to a peaceful place. Can you think of any? I know a hill with a very beautiful scene. Have you been there before? Yes, several times. There is a lake near it too. Sounds so great. Let's go. Okay, let me take my car. You can wait here. Okay, I will grab something so we can eat later. Yeah. Glad to meet you. Hi, I'm Thomas, your neighbor. Hi, Thomas. How are you? I'm Oliver. I'm great. Glad to meet you. I'm glad to meet you, too. I just want to say hello and would like to invite you and your family to my place for a barbecue party this Saturday. Oh, really? Any special occasion? No, I just want to get to know everyone around, so... I invited you and other neighbors. Oh, sure. When is it? Around 5 p.m. Thanks, Thomas. We will come. Have a nice day. You too. How small the world is. Lily, come in. Hi, guys. This is Lily, my best friend at university. Oh, Jake, do you know Laura? I'm her cousin. I didn't know you were her friend. How small the world is. How do you two know each other? We were in the same high school. Oh, yeah. I know you two studied in the same school before, but never think you know each other. Right? We were in different classes, but in the same swimming club. Make yourself at home. Hi, Anna. How are you? Hi, Kate. I'm great. Come in. Are you back from work just now? Yes. I want to come over to visit your new house. Come and sit down. Make yourself at home. So, how is the new house? It's great. We are fixing and decorating again, so it's a bit messy. It looks great, actually. Very cozy. Thanks, Kate. Do you want to see around? Sure, I'd love to. Let's go. Let's keep in touch. Excuse me. Are you Jeremy? Yes, it's me. Ah, oh, Jeremy, it's been so long since I last saw you. Oh, sorry. I can't remember. It's Ben. The primary school? Do you remember now? Oh my gosh, Ben! You look so different, I didn't recognize you. Sorry. It's okay. I know I was a bit chubby back then, right? <laughs> Where have you been? I moved to Chicago many years ago. Now I'm here to visit my grandma. Oh, that's why I didn't see you. Let's keep in touch. Okay, let's keep in touch. Have you got it? Oh, I forgot. What did you forget? My makeup bag. Go and get it. Okay, wait a minute. I will be right back. Have you got it? Yes, it's here. Do you still forget anything? I think no. We can go now. Are you sure? If you forget anything, we can't go back or we will be late for the flight. Yes, let's go.
Can I buy you a drink? Brian, thanks a lot for helping me with my assignment. It's okay. Just a little knowledge I know. Still, though, I won't be able to meet the deadline without you. I'm glad I can help. Can I buy you a drink? Okay, then. What would you like? A cup of coffee, then. Sure. Let's go to the coffee right there. Okay. Do you come here often? What do you think about this restaurant? It looks great. I like the cozy atmosphere. Right? Yeah, the decoration is so pretty, especially for Christmas. Yeah, this is my favorite restaurant. Do you come here often? Yes, I usually come here with my family, like twice a month. How is the food here? They have some very nice dishes. Do you want to try? Sure, you pick. You know it best. You won't regret it. Would you like to dance? Did you enjoy the prom, Sarah? Yeah, so much fun. I didn't think the prom would be so great. Everyone is dancing. Would you like to dance? I'd love to, but I don't know how to dance. Don't worry. I will guide you. You just need to follow my steps. But if I can't, don't laugh at me, okay? I'm pretty bad at dancing for real. No worry. It's not that hard as you think it is. Okay, then. I like this song. Let's go. Can I drive you home? Lisa, where are you going? Hi, James. I'm coming home. Just went back from university. Can I drive you home? I go this way, too. If you don't mind, then okay. No problem. What do you have in that bag? It looks heavy. I borrowed some books from the library. You're such a hard-working girl. <laughs> Only before the exams. Same here. Thanks a lot, James. It was so nice of you to take me home. Not at all. What's wrong with this? Come on! What are you doing, Anna? I'm trying to fix this toaster. What's wrong with this? It doesn't work. The bread is still cold. Really? Let me see. It must be broken. Fine. Let me grab something later on the way. Are you in a hurry? Yeah. I have an exam this morning. I have instant noodles here. Do you want to try? Sure. Thanks, Alex. You should go prepare yourself. I will help you cook it. Well, you are so nice to me, Alex. Not at all. You always help me, too. Thanks. I will go now. What's your phone number? Good morning, Susan. Hi, Oliver. Are you looking for something? I'm looking for my phone. I dropped it somewhere. Oh, let me help you find it. Thank you. I've been finding it for a while. What's your phone number? I will call you. Okay, let me type it. Hmm, it's ringing. 
I think the music is so loud that we can't hear your phone's sound. Yeah, wait, I feel something vibrating. Oh, here it is. It's in the sofa's gap. Oh, thanks a lot, Oliver. Not at all. Actually, it's a good start to making a new friend, right? <laughs> yeah. Now I have your number. Please save mine as well. Okay, I will. The Passive Voice Jaden is being interviewed by Jessica for the new post on the school website. Oh, hi. Nice to meet you. Pleased to meet you here. How are you doing today? I'm great. What about you? I'm good, too. Okay, Jaden, let's start our talk today. Can you introduce a little bit about yourself? Yeah, of course. My name is Jaden Thomas. I'm a student at Brook Hill High School. I was born in 2004 in Birmingham. In Birmingham? So, why did you move to this city? Just because my house was built near our school, and it is also said to be one of the best schools in England. So, yeah, I moved here when I was six years old. What made you decide to choose this school? Firstly, I think I'm taken care of by all the college staff when I study here. That's great! Who is your best teacher in this school? Hmm, it's hard to choose the best, but I would say it is Mrs. Johnstone. Is she a chemistry teacher? Yeah, I have been learning a lot from her, and she's friendly as well. Last winter, I was invited to her Christmas party with her family. Wow, has she been told that you got the first prize? Not yet. I phoned her, but she didn't answer. I'm going to meet her tomorrow at school. Probably she will be so proud of you. I hope so. I think she expected a lot, and I didn't want to disappoint her as well. Okay, so let's talk about your study. How did you prepare for this competition? I'm lucky that I was given many useful books from teachers and students who already joined the test. So you were revising a lot for the preparation, weren't you? Yes, and I was tested every week by my teachers, so I knew what I needed to improve. You are hard working, though. Do you have any special suggestions to prepare for the exam? I think when I had to memorize something, I usually wrote songs about that. Wow! Can you sing or play musical instruments? I can play piano a little bit. The songs are kind of silly, but it made me feel less stressed when I studied. You must perform one day at school. I will try to practice more one day. Thank you. So, how did your parents feel when you won? You might think that they would be very excited, Yes, of course. You did so well. Yeah, but they only told me that I was just luckier than other students. Oh, really? That sounds strange. Yeah, they said that because my parents didn't want me to be overconfident. Did your family do anything to celebrate your win? Yeah, we are planning, but I guess we will do it on the weekend. What will you do for the celebration? Perhaps we will have a lovely dinner at a restaurant. Wow. So, what about you? How did you feel? <laughs> I'm really surprised. I just wanted to get the prize because it can be used when I apply to university. What are you going to study at university? I'm considering between material science and chemistry. 
Do you have any dream universities? Everyone wants to go to Cambridge. So do I. But it is really difficult. But you are also excellent. Our school is so lucky to have you. No, I am so normal. I still need to try my best to get my dream university. Well, good luck to you. I hope I can have a talk again with you when you are accepted by Cambridge University. I wish that too. Thank you so much. Winship and Lewis just went back home after work and saw all the doors and windows of their house opened. What's that? What's going on? Did you forget to lock the door? No, you locked it. I even checked it twice. The windows on the second floor are opened as well. Did you see if anything disappeared? Not really. Let me check again. It's so strange. The flowers on the balcony were watered. Are you sure? No way the robber watered. You can come here to check. They are all wet, and some chairs were moved. Did you check your working space? Has your computer been stolen? No, I don't think there was a robber. So, someone came inside and just opened the doors and went out? That's ridiculous. What about the kitchen? It's so strange. All the dishes are cleaned. The chicken was baked and actually smells really good. Did we hire any housekeepers today? And then you forgot? I never call them on weekdays. And they told me they can't come this month as well. Maybe they changed the plan but you forgot? Let me check the phone. I haven't been told anything. I'm a bit scared now. What exactly happened here? Me too. Let's go around and check the house one more time. Okay. Have you found anything? I saw a suitcase here. Whose is it? Where did you see that? In the garage. It looks quite familiar. Is that the one our daughter received on her birthday last year? Is it? I don't remember. I think so. <gasps> what? Why are you here at the moment? Aren't you supposed to be at university? No, Mom. I was told by my tutor that I can go home early for this winter break. Why? Did you do something wrong? Nope. I just finished all the credits earlier. Why are you guys so surprised? We thought that there was a robber at the house. Oh, dear. It's just me. Why didn't you tell us? I was so scared. <laughs> I wanted to surprise you guys. It's too much for me, dear. Have you eaten anything? Nope. Have you seen the chicken baked? I was so hungry. Okay, let's go inside, baby. I will make something for you. Sure, Mom. Hi, I'm Marshall. I guess I'm your new roommate. Hi, I'm Ted. Nice to meet you. I just unpacked my stuff. This is my side of the room, and that will be yours. Great. Nice to meet you, too. What is your major? I major in physics. How about you? I study law. I want to be an environmental lawyer. Where do you come from? I'm from Texas. 
That's pretty far from here. I'm from New Jersey. Cool. And anyway, I'll bring a TV, so if it's possible, can you bring a mini refrigerator? Okay. Do you have an idea of the kind of dorm decor you want? What is your style? I'm into funky retro style. I want to hang up posters of rock bands and some famous artists. I like rock music too. Do you want to coordinate dorm decor? Great. Decorate the room together will be so much fun. And what are your thoughts on chores? We will split the chores equally according to our study schedule. Most of my classes are in the morning, so I will do the chores at noon. Great, and when I get back at night, I'll do the rest. How do you feel about guests and socializing in the dorm? I have a girlfriend. If you're okay with it, she'll hang out in our room occasionally. Sure, I'm cool with that. Just tell me before she gets here. Thank you for understanding. Are you taking any extracurriculars or playing sports on campus? I'm currently in the environmental club. I'm planning on joining the soccer team. Do you play soccer? Uh, I like watching football, but I don't play. What do you do in your spare time? Do you watch TV shows together? Sure, I want to apply for a part-time job in my spare time. It'd be fun to go together. It's a good idea. It's a good opportunity to have more experiences. Are you planning on going home a lot? I only trot back to my parents' house for the holidays. I want to go home every weekend, so you can invite your friends over on the weekend. Great. And how do you like to study? I like listening to music when I study. Do you mind? I like studying in silence, but it's okay. We can schedule our study time differently, or I can go to the university library. Okay, and what are you planning to do over summer break? I don't have any plan yet. How about you? I will go to the beach uh, to my friend's party. You can come with me if you want. That sounds fun. We need to relax after this semester. That's right. We'll have so much fun living together. I'm so excited to start our university life together. Hi, Lucas. Welcome home. I missed you. Hey, Mike. I missed you, too. Have you been good to Mom and Dad? Yes, I have, and I'm so excited for you to come home for this summer holiday. Tell me everything about your college life. Is it fun? Do you have a roommate? It's fun, but also tough. I have a roommate, but I don't like him. We have so much trouble living together. Really? Why? He is slobby and unorganized. We just can't get along. We have nothing in common. And his annoying behaviors are driving me crazy. How bad is he? For example, it's one thing to leave his shoes and socks on his bedroom floor. That is his own private space, after all. But don't be a slob in shared spaces like the kitchen or living room. That's so rude. Did you guys agree to share the house chores? Yes, but we agreed to pick up after yourself, and he still leaves dishes in the sink. Leaves dirty pots and pans on the stove. Doesn't put away leftovers. Do you guys share the bathroom? Yes, and he leaves his dirty clothes or towels in the bathroom. And toothpaste splatter in the sink or on the bathroom mirror all the time. I guess you guys fight a lot, right? Yes, he doesn't respect my schedule. I have an 8 a.m. class every day, but sometimes he comes home at 2 a.m. banging the door. Or sets up the alarm at 7 a.m., but never gets up to turn it off. I see. What are his personalities? He is needy. He depends on me for a social life, and even all his emotional support. 
If he doesn't have other people he can count on or any other ways to help himself, that can be exhausting and overwhelming for me. You can set up some limits to when you talk to him and how long you will be around him. Trust me, you feel so much better. He is also an attention seeker. <gasps> he will do anything for attention, including talking about me behind my back. Sharing my personal information with others. You should let him know his behavior is causing a rift. Hopefully, he'll hear you out and reevaluate his actions. I hope so. Roommates can be lifelong friends, but they can be a nightmare. So what will you do when you go back to your dorm? People usually think moving rooms or changing roommates will be the magic solution to all their problems. But learning how to deal with situations you have with your roomie can benefit you your entire life. I think roommate problems are caused by miscommunications. And the problem can be solved just by sitting down with a neutral friend and talking things out. You are going to college next year? Remember, don't let yourself be a bad roommate and notice bad signs from your roomie soon. Should I share the dorm room with anyone or live alone? It's nice to have someone who can wake you when you sleep through your alarm or bring you soup when you're sick. They might introduce you to a different culture or new point of view. I may have a roommate who likes to do the same things as I do. But you may not have the privacy you're used to and may have to seek out places like the library to get it. If your roommate's habits, personality, or schedule are very different from yours, it can be hard to adjust to living together. That's true. So what should I do to live harmoniously with my roommate? Communicating often and openly is essential for any successful relationship. Make rules and respect them. For example, you guys agreed that if one of them is trying to study, the other won't blare music or will record TV shows to watch later. What if we don't agree on something? You'll both have to make some compromises. If you behave politely to your roommate, your roommate is likely to follow your lead. Thanks for your advice and good luck with your roommate. Thanks, I hope I can work it out. Do you want me to go with you? Emma, are you feeling okay? I have a stomach ache. You look so pale. Does it hurt a lot? Yes, it's so painful. How long have you had it? For like half an hour? You should go to the hospital and check. Yes, ugh, it will go now. Do you want me to go with you? Yes, if you don't mind. Okay, let me get my bag and we will go. Okay, can you drive? I don't think I can focus on driving with this pain. Sure, I will drive. Rest yourself in the back seat. Okay. Thank you, Nina. Not at all. I'll take you. Hi, I'm Jake, your new flatmate. Hi, Jake, I'm Jessica. Nice to meet you. Nice to see you, too. Are you a student of UAE University, too? Yes, I am. Where are you from? I'm from Bristol. And you? I'm from Essex. Are you a fresher? Yes, I am. This is my first time I've been here. How about you? I'm a junior. Wow, you must be very familiar with this city. Yes, I've spent three years exploring the city. Is there any interesting place near here? Many. If you want, I'll take you around. Thank you. That's so nice of you. You're welcome.
We ran out of food in the fridge. Where are you going, Layla? I'm going to the supermarket. But it's raining heavily outside. But we ran out of food in the fridge. Wait a bit. It's raining too hard now. Okay, then. Is there nothing left in the fridge? Yes. Why do I remember there are some eggs left? No, I made them yesterday. Oh, yeah. Uh, later. I will go with you. Why? I want to go with you. We should buy more at one time. I think so, too. Now I go to the supermarket like three to four times a week. Yes, it's a waste of time. Can I make an appointment? Hello, may I help you? Is Dr. Mike available today? His schedule is full today. How about tomorrow? Yes, he is still available tomorrow. Can I make an appointment? Sure. Can I have your name, please? Isabel Smith. What time do you want to make for the appointment? Is it okay at 3 p.m.? Yes, it is. What is your problem? I need to note it down. I have sleep difficulty, and I want to have a blood test. Okay. Your appointment at 3 p.m. has been set. Thank you. You're welcome. Please be on time tomorrow. Yes, I will. You were speeding, ma'am. Hello, ma'am. Hello, officer. What's wrong, sir? Do you know what speed you were doing? No, I didn't pay attention. It was 120 miles per hour. You were speeding, ma'am. <gasps> oh, really? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Can I have your docs, please? Here you are. Thanks. Why were you speeding, ma'am? I'm in a hurry. My daughter is sick at home. I'm sorry to hear that, but next time you shouldn't speed, okay? Sure, I won't. Now you can go home, ma'am. Thanks a lot. Have a nice day, officer. Thanks. You too, ma'am. How do you spell it? Hello, I'm Amy. Hi, my name is Laura. Nice to meet you. My pleasure. So, are you the new one living in room 5? Yes, it's me. Where are you from? I'm from French. Oh, so is your name not Amy? A-M-Y? No, but it sounds the same. How do you spell it? A I M. E E. Oh, I got it. So, how many people are there in our flat? There are five people. You will meet them soon. Where are they now? They are in the university now. Okay, let me take my stuff to my room first. Talk to you later, Amy. <laughs> Dewey loses her car keys. U.S. Treasuries tick higher as equity investors... Oh no, it's not possible. What happened? I can't find my car keys. I'm going to be late for work. Do you have a spare set? Yes, but I don't know where they are. Try your coat pockets. I already have! Can you make a more sensible suggestion? It's no good for getting cross with me. I was only trying to help. 
Get out of my way. Calm down. Think. When did you last have them? I don't know. I can't think. Stop panicking. You look in the bedroom and I'll check the kitchen. They're not in the bedroom. This is terrible. I found them. <gasps> oh, you are wonderful. Where did you find them? You'd left them in the car. Oh, what a relief. I must dash. I'm very late. I hope the traffic won't be too congested. Calm down. Take a deep breath and drive carefully. It's better to be late than to have an accident. Just shopping. Hi, Sally. Long time no see. What are you doing here? Oh, hi, Kay. Same as you, I expect. Just shopping. Great. Is that a new dress? Yes, it is. I got it yesterday. Do you like it? Well, it's very, um, very short for you, isn't it, Sally? Short is in the summer, didn't you know? Oh, I don't read any of those fashion magazines. I can tell you don't. Well, this is the latest fashion from Milan. Oh, I know it's popular. I've seen that kind of dress a lot. Seems everyone is wearing it these days. I prefer something more individual. Yes, so I see. What actually is it that you're wearing? It's a pair of shorts, but it looks like a skirt. See? Oh yes! How original! Did you make it yourself? No. Marvelous. But I'm just not sure it's quite you, Kay. Oh, really, Sally? Well, never mind. Perhaps it's too... sophisticated for you. Mmm... No, I don't think it's that. But you're right. I can't see me in it somehow. Anyway, must hurry. I've got more shopping to do. Well, good luck, Sally. Keep reading those magazines. Thanks, Kay. Perhaps you should buy some, too. Excuse me, are you Miss Davis? No, I'm not Miss Davis, but I know who she is. Great, can you tell me where to find her? I'm not sure where she is in the building now. I do know what she looks like, though. Can you describe her, please? She is a tall woman with dark brown hair and light brown eyes. Do you know what she's wearing? Yes, she is wearing a white dress shirt and a black blazer and skirt. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I hope you find her. A blind date. I have a surprise for you, Bridget. What is it? I am sending you on a blind date with my coworker, Joshua. You two would make a perfect couple. Thanks, but I do not even know what he looks like. He is very handsome. He has a very friendly face. 
what do you mean by friendly face? He has a bright smile, beautiful blue eyes, and smooth skin. He will make you smile. I know you like tall guys as well, and he is 6'3". He sounds very attractive. Hey, David. What's up? Hmm. I have a crush on that girl over there. I really want to talk to her, but I'm too shy to start a conversation. You have to step out of your comfort zone, bro. I don't know what to do, really. Let me teach you. First, you have to create a situation. What do you mean? I don't get it. If you just sit next to her and try to say something, there is a chance that she will find a reason to end the conversation. If you want to talk to her next time, next time, you have to... <gasps> oh, I know what you mean. I should drop something into her shirt, apologize to her, and ask for her contact to make it up to her. Great idea, bro. Okay, I'm ready. Wish me luck. I believe in you, Andy. How was it, man? Did you succeed? No. Oh my god, why? Your plan was perfect. You couldn't have failed. Tell me what happened. Well, when I dropped the coffee onto her shirt and said sorry, <gasps> she turned red and didn't say anything. Before leaving, she told me, Nice try. What did that mean? I don't know what to say, Andy. But dropping coffee in someone wearing a white t-shirt is not a good idea. She will think you had the intention to harm her. Is that so? I shouldn't have bought coffee. Ugh. Yeah, everything looks good, except the coffee. I thought she and I were meant to be. But it seems like she rejected me immediately. Perhaps you are not destined to her, Andy. But don't worry, there are seven billion people in the world. Finding a lover isn't that hard. Never mind. Don't be sad, bro. Let me buy you a drink. Maybe you're right. I should forget about that girl. Told you, man. Um, excuse me? Are you Andy from the business department? Yes, I am. Do you have a moment? Yes, please. Go ahead. Well, it is quite awkward, but I really want to exchange SNS accounts with you. I just wonder... Oh, sure. No problem. Here's mine. Ah, oh, thank you so much. I will text you later. Do you know what just happened, David? I think you've just found your fate, Andy. Congrats, man. I don't know how to describe my emotions right now, but I'm on cloud nine. Do you think I should text her a message first? Definitely, bro. Girls love that type of boyfriend. Come on. I'm not her boyfriend yet. You sure will. Trust me, Andy.
Where do you want to travel? Traveling is a very interesting activity. Let's see where our friends want to travel and what's there. Group travels. It's such a long time we haven't traveled together, right? Exactly. Everyone is busy at work. We all gathered to eat and then went home. Oh, I really want to travel with all of you. Me too. Summer is coming. Let's take the time to travel. I agree. Sure. Where do you want to travel? Miami Beach. I love that. I love beaches too. But we have visited it twice together. Do you remember? Yes, but I still love it. I think we should travel to a new place, like the mountains. Right? How about Spain? I have always wanted to come to this country. Why? What will we do there? If we go in July, we will get to see the famous bullfighting festival. Wow, that's great. I haven't seen it before. We all haven't. No, I have had a chance to join it. Really? When? I went to Spain with my family. Oh no! So we should pick another place where all of us haven't come to. I have an idea. What's that? London. How do you think about London? Great! I have heard a lot about London. It's an amazing place. Yes, it is. A lot of sightseeing. We can take a lot of photos there. Yeah, that sounds fun. We can visit the Tower of London, Warner Brothers Studio Tour London. Is this behind the scene of Harry Potter films? That is. Wow, I'm a big fan of this film. This is really great. I think we can choose the destination. It is London. I totally agree. Great! I'm so excited about it. The favorite place. Our holiday is coming. What will you do on this holiday? I'm pretty sure I am going to travel. Where do you want to go? Some Asia countries. Asia countries? That's great! Exactly. Which country? I have always wanted to visit Thailand. Maybe Thailand is my choice. Wow! Why do you want to visit Thailand? You know, Thailand is known as the Golden Pagoda's Land, and it is a street food paradise. That sounds great! My friend went there and she said that it's a must-go country. When I heard you say that, I want to go there too! <laughs> and also, I have traveled to almost all European countries. So, I want to discover Asia. Amazing! Can you tell me more about your trips? Of course. I used to visit Germany. Oh my god! I used to dream to study in this country! It's great. I visited Berlin City. Is it Germany's capital? Right. I went to check in at the Berlin Wall. Brandenburg Gate, they are all famous places. I have heard about that. And I had a chance to go to France. Did you visit Paris? 
Yes, I did. How is it? In addition to the Eiffel Tower, Paris has other great locations. I went to the Louvre Museum. Wow. Paris is a wonderful city. I will go back to Paris when I have a chance. I want to visit Paris too. And I used to go to Sweden, Spain, Australia. Oh dear, have you spent all of your time traveling? I travel whenever I have time. For example, two to three days holidays and summer vacations too. You're really interested in traveling. You're right. <laughs> Honeymoon. Hey, I have amazing news. What is that? I am going to get married. <gasps> what? Really? Yes. It is going to hold on 20th of October. Oh my god, I'm so happy to hear that. There's a lot of things I have to prepare for. I'm sure you're super busy these days. Exactly, from the wedding hall to photography and honeymoon too. Wow, where do you want to travel for your honeymoon? I want to travel to a lot of places, but we haven't decided. Why? I like going to Paris for our honeymoon. That's great, isn't it? It is a romantic city and a symbol of romance. Very suitable for a honeymoon trip. I think like you, but... What happened? My husband doesn't want that. He said he wanted something new. What does he mean? He wants to enjoy our trip to Asia countries. That's not bad. I think it's quite a good idea. Yes, so I am thinking of it. Which country does he want? Korea or Japan? Great! I don't know which I should choose. If I were you, I would choose Korea. Have you traveled to Korea? Yes, I have. How is Korea? A beautiful country with a great traditional culture. Really? Right. I love Korean food. If you go to Korea, you should try all of the Korean food. Okay, thank you. Japan trip. I am going to travel to Japan next week. Wow! I am so excited about this. I'm sure you have a lot of fun in this beautiful country. Have you ever traveled to Japan? Yes, I have. Great. Share with me your experience. Sure. What do you want to know? How is Japan? As I said, it's a beautiful country. Do you know cherry blossoms? Of course. I visited Japan in April. Luckily, it is the time this flower blooms. Wow, did you take some photos with it? Yes, a lot of photos. All of them are great. I posted it on my Facebook. And what did you do in Japan? I went to Tokyo Tower. Cool. And I sightsaw Mount Fuji. 
When I go to Japan, I will also go sightseeing at Mount Fuji. It's fun! When did you go? Last year. I travel with my family. Okay, I got it. I will also take photos in Japan as much as I can. Please take a photo with kimono. Sure. And remember to buy me a present. Don't worry. Ah,、uh, how about the food? Japanese cuisine is quite famous for the freshness of the food. Yes, I have heard about that. But I'm afraid I won't get along with the cuisine there. Have you tried sushi? Yes, I have tried once. I think you will be addicted to them. They are great. I believe in you. <laughs> Trust me, after I returned from Japan, I became addicted to shabu. Shabu? What is that? It's a kind of Japanese hot pot. You should try it. Okay, I remember. I will tell my parents to try it. In Japan, you should try all of the famous dishes. Thanks. Beach trip. Hi, Annie. What's up? Hi, Kim. Nothing much. I'm thinking of what to do for the weekends, but I haven't had any ideas so far. Oh, hey. My dad is out of town, so he let me borrow his car for the whole week. Do you want to go somewhere together? Yeah, of course. That would be awesome. We can drive to Atlantic City to see the beach there. What do you think? That's a great idea. I love surfing and swimming. And I heard Atlantic City has a lot of beautiful beaches. This weather would be perfect for a beach trip. Uh huh. And we can also stay a bit later to watch the sunset and have some seafood for dinner. Sounds great. I'll bring some beer and snacks, and we'll make a day out of it. And now that I think about it, I'm starting to crave some lobster and grilled oysters. <laughs> me too. Should we start going on Saturday morning? Yeah, that works for me. I'll pick you up at 8 a.m. then. We should set out early before it gets too hot. Cool. Thank you, Kim. Now I'll stop by the supermarket and buy some snacks for the trip. Let me go with you. I also need to buy a new bottle of sunscreen and some other pieces of stuff. Okay, let's go. Shopping date. Hey Emma, wait for us. Hi Kelsey. Hi Giselle. Where are you guys going? We were just back from our physics class. Were you at the library? Yeah, I went there to borrow a book for my English class. Oh, hey Emma, have you found a dress for the prom? Oh my God, I completely forgot that our school is organizing a prom this year. When is the prom? It's gonna be next Friday night. Oh no, I haven't got a dress yet. Don't worry, Kelsey and I were just talking. We haven't found our dresses either. Do you want to go shopping with us this weekend? Oh yeah, totally. I don't know what type of dress I'm looking for, so it'd be nice if we can go together. Yeah, of course. We can ask our opinions, and we'll help you pick out a dress. Yay! Okay. Where are we going? I don't know any places that sell prom dresses. We can go to the shopping mall. My sister said King of Prussia Mall has a lot of clothing stores, so we can try going there. That doesn't sound too bad. We can go by bus. When should we meet? Are you guys free Sunday morning, say at 9 a.m.? I am. Yeah, Sunday is also perfect for me. Shall we meet at the bus stop near Trader Joe's? Okay, I'll see you guys then. Bye.
Goodbye, Emma. See you soon.